The search for a witness allegedly connected to luring migrants to a chartered flight from San Antonio to Martha's Vineyard continues. However, as Lulac tells our Alicia Barrera, they fear she could be at risk of running away. It's the name that has been circulating among migrants, advocacy groups, and authorities since last month. When I was at Martha's Vineyard interviewing the refugees, all I had was a name, Perla. Domingo Garcia is the national president of LULAC and is determined to help track down the woman his team has identified as Perla Huerta. She is originally a graduate from San Antonio High School and uh, a veteran of the military. And then we actually had one of the refugees give us a picture of her when they got on the plane to Martha's Vineyard. It was at the San Antonio airport when they took off. She gave them water. Garcia adds that most of the migrants he spoke to were from Venezuela and were processed by Border Patrol down in Eagle Pass before finally arriving here to San Antonio's Migrant Center. Migrants tell Garcia they were offered work, money and other incentives in exchange for a signature on a form stating they voluntarily wanted to go to a different location. We filed a complaint with the Department of Justice in Washington, D.C. because we believe several federal immigration and human trafficking laws might have been broken by this plot. Garcia says they've also passed along all information to the Bear County Sheriff's Office for its criminal investigation, although BCSO says they have not confirmed or identified any person of interest involved Quote, any and all evidence that has been submitted to us regarding this investigation is being reviewed by handling investigators. End quote. Garcia's hope is that Perla and others involved are identified by authorities and found as soon as possible. It was a covert operation uh, and they knew that they had to do it in the shadows and we're worried that she might try to leave the country. Now they continue efforts to make migrants aware of the dangers and free offerings from strangers. Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.